We told you on Live at 4 that New York State is taking steps to both increase the number of virtual court matters that can be heard and resume in-person hearings and jury trials as soon as possible. But there are lingering issues plaguing both options. Sure, it's been almost a year since the idea of virtual court was first considered around the country, but it doesn't mean a year later everyone has a firm grasp on how to do it. I'm here live. It's not, I'm not a cat. Viral video of a judge presiding over a virtual matter and struggling to remove a cat filter from his image is just one of many experiences that have left attorneys and clients laughing or simply shaking their heads. There was an attorney appearing virtually discussing a parent's drinking problem in a family court matter and that attorney poured a glass of wine during the appearance in front of the judge. Jennifer Dominelli of Smith, Dominelli and Getty says by now such behavior is far from the norm. Rare or not, New York State Chief Judge Janet DeFiore recently announced updated rules for virtual engagement. Cats and wine glasses aside, DeFiore believes virtual courtrooms, while useful, have their limitations and could never fully replace a traditional court of law. And that is why we remain committed to expanding in-person proceedings, including jury trials, as soon as it is safe and responsible for us to do so. For now, the virtual world will help to handle the very real backlog of cases. Even when in-person jury trials resume, Dominelli says at least initially, courthouses simply won't be able to handle the kind of volume they once did. Due to social distancing requirements, spacing for the parties, uh, you're going to use up more of the real estate in the courthouses. DeFiore released a series of new forms to help navigate the virtual court process. We've posted them on our website, WNYT.com.